That seems a little inappropriate, don't you think, sir? How can you... Relax. Once in a while can't hurt. It'll be fine. Huh? What is he doing here? Yay! My brother! I found you! I know that voice. Why, if it isn't my little brother, Tuser! My goodness! <laughs> what a nice surprise, Tuser. I thought I would have to wait till I return home before seeing you again. How are the others? Sister Tonia and Brother Anthon? Is everybody keeping well? They miss you a lot. Tonia prays for you every day at dinner. Wait a second. What are you doing here in Liyue, Tuser? How have I not heard anything about this? Well, what happened was, I saw a boat that looked like it was selling toys, so obviously I thought you were on board. And then, when I got off, I just kept walking and walking, and then, I found a Mr. Cyclops! Mr. Cyclops scared off a bad guy, and then I found this nice lady to help me come look for you! Cool! Suddenly Paimon doesn't feel so bad about taking Tuzer's money! Tuzer, what you did was extremely dangerous. I'm so happy to see you, really I am, but please, promise me you won't do anything like this ever again. <sighs> Okay, I promise. Please don't be mad at me. <sighs> I'm not mad at you. I just care about your safety, that's all. If you hadn't met these nice people, things could have been a lot more dangerous for you too, sir. I hope you said a big thank you to them. Yep, I always remember my pleases and thank yous. Oh, so you did notice we were here. You were just ignoring us. Gotcha. <laughs> Forgive me, it's always family first where I'm from. Don't take it personally. I know we've had our differences up to now, but a few minor quibbles aside, we get on quite well, don't you think? <laughs> Come on, you know I'm just a pawn in all that, just doing my part. As for who wins, who loses, and how each side deals with the consequences, I prefer to leave all that up to the ones playing the game. I'm much more interested in who wins and who loses when it comes to our little sparring matches. Hmm. Sounds like you're ready to get your butt kicked again. Ha! <laughs> you're forgetting something about me. I, Tartaglia, spend every second getting stronger. Don't expect to have it quite so easy next time. Whoa, 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 whoa! You aren't gonna fight now, are you? <laughs> Maybe not right now. Not while my kid brother is watching. Why do you want to fight the nice lady? Are you guys enemies? No, not at all. Allow me to formally express my sincerest gratitude for taking care of my darling brother. His safety matters very much to me. Um, so anyway, Paimon has a question. Tuzer said something about you being a toy seller. What's that all about? Aren't you supposed to be one of the Fatui's harbor? Ahem, uh, yes, about that. Shh, look. I only told him that so that he'll look up to me. In the eyes of a child, working with toys must be the best job imaginable, right? I don't want my family to have anything to do with the Fatui's, or should I say Snezhnaya's, darker side. The older ones already know that I serve the Tsaritsa. But Tuser is still so young, and in his eyes... <sighs> As I was saying, I remain Snezhnaya's greatest expatriate toy seller, currently attached to the Liyue branch of our Institute for Toy Research. That's right! My brother's the greatest! He's Mr. Cyclops' bestest friend! Just humor me in front of Tuser, if you would be so kind. Ah, uh, yes, Ekaterina. I will deal with the issue of that outstanding payment right away. Hey! Slinking off, are we? But, Master Child, would it not be a little improper to ask you to deal with... debt collection? A bet is a bet, isn't it? And if you lose a bet with an agent... <laughs> well, you might as well get a little exercise out of it. Are you going off to sell toys now? That's right. As much as I'd love to catch up a little longer, Tuser, duty calls. I'm sure Miss Nice Lady here will be happy to keep you company while I'm out, though. Ah, <sighs> so we still need to keep babysitting for you? Sure! I really like this lady. And anyway, she made a pinky promise to take good care of me. 
Ah, well, it sounds like Tusa really likes you, and that you've already made a pinky promise to take good care of him anyway. Then I'm in your debt. Here, take this as Tusa's entertainment fund. I want him to have a good time while he's in Liu, so take him anywhere he wants. If need be, you may find me by the river near Qingxu Pool. I'll see you both around. <laughs>